In recent years, a football team that plays in the city by the bay has been fogged in. But this year, the skies have brightened. The first time I met Joe Montana, he got long blonde hair and he's got a Fu Manchu, just tiny little legs. Doesn't look very athletic at all. One of the things that sticks out in my mind, how cool Joe Montana was under pressure. Two and fourteen to six and ten to suddenly thirteen and three. Today, the Dallas Cowboys versus the San Francisco 49ers. They were to us everything and everybody that had just stomped on us. Possible. America's team, 89 yards to win the game. When he walks on the field, it's like he puts the cape on and the S on the chest. You hear the analogy of all the time that he's given about a, you know, sort of a quiet killer, a quiet assassin. Who is this guy, Montana? And Montana took Clark inside the 45. A lot like Clint Eastwood, didn't have to say a lot. You know, he, you know, he, he just had that way about himself. Joe Montana, from day one has been the gold standard when it talks about the most important time, which is the playoffs. Joe Montana was virtually flawless, pretty much in the Super Bowls he played in. Most people in San Francisco think that professional football was invented in 1981. He wasn't a great player at Notre Dame just uh, by passing through a town. His greatness shows up. It showed up there, and it showed up since he probably first uh, put on a male supporter. There's something different about the bigger stage for a guy like you. Look at a good follow through. And Montana that time really made a good read. If you're afraid to have the ball in your hand, um, and you're hoping that the defense has to win it, then you're not, you don't have it. I want you to know that what Joe Montana did in his four Super Bowls that he won, going four for four, was Jordan-esque. On Joe Montana's record in the biggest game. The biggest crowd of reporters was around Joe Montana. Question there, is Montana in any way jealous of Dolphin quarterback Dan Marino? The number one reason he's Jordanesque is because he is undefeated. Again, a play out by Montana. And again, open field for Montana. He won three MVPs and he should have won four. Because Joe Montana may be the greatest ever. Four for four. Undefeated in the biggest moments. His performance, his level of play, his call, his stabilizing that play. From Notre Dame, two-time Super Bowl MVP, quarterback number 16, Joe Montana. Can you see by the dawn's early light? What 
made Joe Joe? Why was he so unique? What made you, Joe, so cool and chill when the moments got the, uh, uh, the hottest on the field? And it is good. Cincinnati leads again 16-13. I think the biggest thing was Joe was the calmest and the best at the big moments. Everybody's really nervous. Last drive, you know, you got to go down to score to, to beat Cincinnati in the Super Bowl. And it's a TV timeout, and Joe's just looking around and trying to keep everybody calm. And he just says, look over there. That's John Candy. And, you know, Harris is like, what the hell, Joe? He it picked was like, John Candy out of the stands. Joe right. Montana. Montana. Over the middle, the frame. Protecting the ball and out to the 17 as he takes a lick from Charles Andrews. He just rises when he needs to. And not wasting any time, no huddle. He can dial it up when he needs to. Nice catch underneath. It's like the bigger the moment, the more calmer he gets. At the Cincinnati 47. But watching Joe in real time, there was a calm, there was a steadiness that he had. Right to the left. There'll be no quarterback that will be as great as Joe Montana from that perspective. Harden, Barkley, Horton, Horton, Horton made a brilliant play to get it down. 11 catches, 216 yards. Is there another one? This one is big, and he's to the 10 yards. 10 yards from a victory himself. Weiss has just set a Super Bowl record with 12 catches. He's in motion. That was his attitude. It's not over until I win. Never threw an interception in a Super Bowl. Four times the Super Bowl champ, three times the MVP. Four, four and zero in Super Bowls, three MVPs. He just rises when he needs to. Jennifer are officially Kansas City Chiefs. We had great training camp practices, and it was like, okay, here we Why go. Why are you trading for a 37-year-old quarterback who's coming off of two major surgeries? Joe went out through three touchdown passes the first half. That was extraordinary. We said, you know, we really got something going here. And when he came from the field, uh, things began to happen. Play fake by Montana, wants to throw wide open. Joe Montana, what's that? Oh, that guy's 37 years old, ain't he? Gonna take it to him today, knockout, baby. He won't last the first quarter. Believe me, I said it first. Players that were in the huddle knew that he was going to do it. Up the line, drive, down the middle of the end zone, touchdown! And the Chiefs have come back to town! Then it would get to the point where the players on his team were on the sideline. If you watch them, they knew he was going to do it. We've got it figured out. we got to focus now. And the fans in the stands knew he was going to do it. And where it becomes the ultimate is when the other team knows he's going to do it.
guys. What I miss? Joe, I didn't know you're coming. He's Joe Montana. He's kind of got an open invitation. I hope it's not awkward between you two. Awkward? Why would it be awkward? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, Right there. Oh. Right. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah.